Think of that. Crushed by a crate. The most hated man in London. Can you imagine achieving such a title? One day, my brilliance will bring me similar recognition. I know the man. He's hated by everyone. Surprisingly, it's not clear what killed him. I find multiple wounds. No need to send many people to jail for killing such a terrible man. What say you only arrest the single person who actually caused his death? He appears to have been stabbed with a perforating weapon, perhaps a spike of some kind. There would be bleeding and it would affect motor control right away, but death wouldn't come for another six minutes. I suspect that there is at least one deadly toxin in his system. I should return and find out about this. Well now, I didn't ask about this. The man's a right bastard. I hope he's smoldering in hell. But I'm not a crane operator. I wouldn't know how to work there. My best chum is maimed for life, and Ashton didn't care a fig. He deserved what happened. Beyond that, I'm mum. He owned this site and paid us. We all hated him because he looked for any excuse to cheat us out of our wages. I didn't hate him any more or less than my mates. That's around the time I'm given a few minutes to eat something. About then I would have been buying myself an apple at the stand down the street. It's difficult to work properly. You'd have to know what you're doing to drop it at just the right moment. Eddie? Yeah, I taught him how to work the crane a few days ago. He's my husband. Each day I bring him the household expenses just after he eats his apple. I also brought him his invitation to the knighthood ceremony. The one with the special scepter. Of course he wasn't going to take me along. I often tie up my hair around a knitting needle. What business is it of yours? He stopped by here every day at the exact same time. He'd buy an apple and try to cheat me out of tuppence. But then most folks do that. Yeah, that sounds right. Came by for an apple. He was here when we heard the crate hit the ground. to check on business rumors. Something of a bastard, Ashton. Told me he had a bit of jam on the side, if you know what I mean. My wife didn't know about it. Well, the bit of jam wants out, but he won't let her. That's the sort of fellow we're speaking of. should return and find out about this. That was Ashton's doing. The man had it in for me. He paid workers to wreck my machines. Cost me a fortune. As long as he was around, I'd never prosper. 
As a matter of fact, I do carry a revolver at all times. It can be a dangerous neighborhood for a wealthy fella such as myself. every day. He can be unpleasant, but I don't really know him. I should go back and ask about this. He's been coming to me for years. He arrives precisely at one o'clock and leaves two minutes later. He takes a bluish medication every day and prefers that I administer it. Mary is a trusted assistant. As far as I know, she's completely above board. Today, she swept the shop and prepared some medications. She also fetched herself an apple from the apple stand. This really is none of your business. He came to me for his blue medication. I gave him blue medication. special app just for Mr. Ashton. I gave him that one when he come by. Mr. Ashton did look strange like. Eyes all yellowish and then he turned pale after he bit into the apple. Almost green really. special apple. Is that a crime? He was a horrid man. That's all I have to say. out about his dalliance with that girl from the pharmacy it's not the first divorce is all but impossible given his influence with the clergy I'll be the toast of the town a very unpleasant fellow but what was that business about a knighthood ceremony up to the oh. clink with you in any case mr. Raymond oh. will have a story for Perlock publishing 